today the twenty the twentieth of June was the day that has been set for about four months now for the completion of the trial of Windalco for their criminal violation of the environment for 2019. So today, the 28th and the 21st of June, um, were the days yeah, that was set aside for the conclusion of the trial. Now, what took place today is amazing, surprising, and disappointing. Meaning that the defense attorney for Windalco came to court, or one of them came to court, to ask the court to put off the case until November. The judge asked them, why is it necessary to do so? The defense attorney said that the lead attorney in the case, Jackie Samuels Brown, um, as a matter in the Supreme Court, which would have taken priority over this court for today. Now, the surprising thing about it is that the case for today, the judge did not set it unilaterally. She asked the defense attorney and the prosecution and NEPA for an agreed date. So today and tomorrow were the days that they all agreed for the case to be concluded. So for the defense to come now to say that they have a court, they have a case in the Supreme Court that should take a priority over today's date means that the defense attorney did not consult their diary four or five months ago when they were trying to convince the judge that today they would have made themselves available to complete the trial. So the matter is mixed up and it is quite clear that the defense attorney of Windalco is, 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 is exercising um, a level of, I really don't, I don't really don't know the correct word to say, but what they are doing, they are frustrating the course of justice. On, what they are doing is contrary to natural justice. Because here is the situation. Suppose any one of us were to be charged for a criminal offense. You go to court, you are given bail, you are bound over for a particular date, that they said, um, which, which means that you have to turn up for that court date. Now, shortly after, you go and you commit another uh, of the, the similar offense, right? Bef before the first case is completed, again, you are given bail and another, and another, and another a, a date is set for the second offense, right? And then you go again and you do a third um um you 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 you, you do a, a third criminal act similar to the first two right what 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 do you think the judge would do what do you think any judge in any justice system over the world including jamaica would have done to any one of us if we had done three consecutive criminal offenses without one being tried after the other. My experience is that any one of us ordinary citizens would have been thrown in jail, you, have, you would have been remanded in custody until the next trial date, whenever that is. Right? Because we would be a, ser a serial offender. And that is what Windalco has been. Windalco has been polluting the river every single year. And there are also some investigations now that have not been concluded. You understand? Well, Separate from 2019, people, you know? 2021, and 2022. 
right? So what you have now is a, mis a serious miscarriage of justice. It is unfair, 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 unfair. And the criminal justice, justice system in Jamaica is, as, is failing the people, failing the ordinary people. And there is no justice in the court for the other people in Jamaica. You understand? And I, I, what, what is necessary now is for, is for the ordinary people to flood the streets of Jamaica asking for justice. The, ju the justice system, there are some people in the justice system, some privileged lawyers. You understand? They are abusing their responsibility. They are abusing the opportunity, putting off the cases. Months after months after months after months, three consecutive cases are in the court. And the, and the people who are the, the, the defense attorneys, people who grew up in Jamaica, educated by poor Jamaicans, the tax payers' money of poor Jamaicans, are using the opportunity to frustrate and deny poor Jamaicans of justice for people who don't come from Jamaica, people who come here to rip off, mash up, Poison, kill off all of us, mash up the environment, all they want is money. You understand? And I'm saying that this is unjust and it is about time that the people of Jamaica rise up and deal with the criminal justice system because this makes no sense for all of us. Yeah, this is my opinion towards this case. As well, Mr. Windalco, we need justice. Government of Jamaica, Andrew Wellness, and opposition leader Mark Golden, we need justice. Jamaica, you no rise up and get wise now. You know why? You know why? Take a blind eye to this and see, say, the justice system is corrupt. This justice system in Jamaica is very corrupt. That's why a lot of people are migrating to other country. Because if you're in a year country and you're not getting a fair justice, when it makes sense, you'll be there. So, this is one thing we are using on. And Vibes Cartel case. You see? The justice system in Jamaica is corrupt. And we not stop, we not stop fight this case until we get justice. Judge. Pusey and all of the top judge them want to take a look in this matter. As well, this gentleman said, Mr. Garden said, if we have a case in front of the court and say we get bail on that case then, we get bail on that case, you know.